play against NIP on uh, cash earlier today. And if you're a Virtus Pro fan just joining us, I've got to warn you, it wasn't pleasant viewing. Dignitas has destroyed NIP uh, on that map. And so uh, we'll be feeling pretty confident going into this one against VP, who themselves are not too shabby on it. So uh, here we go, it'll be snacks. Oh, what a hit! That is ridiculous. As he dispatches of Dupree, AZ goes down as well. Virtus Pro, two uh, frags to the good. And uh, this is just what the doctor ordered, as they will look to now try and close this one out as Pasha goes in and controlling that area as, as Device and Zipnik say, yeah, we're not quite ready to, to give this round up. They'll move across now as Zipnix is going to try and quickly get out of there and uh, over towards that site as it'll be Virtus Pro who now are aware of uh, where Zipnix is. Bomb has been planted and uh, Zipnix is doing an awesome job of just being a real nuisance. In the end, he goes down, but Device finishes off Neo, and he's got oh, only a handful of health to finish this one out, and Taz will get that one, and Virtus Pro will get the pistol. Just as a reminder, we can't, we have to hold short of saying, he's going to be, because the players have reported they can hear us. So, uh, Dignitas lose that round, but what a hit that was from Snacks. Love to see that on an instant replay at some point. How long ago um, has it been since... Uh They've reported that they can hear what we're saying. NIP said it every game. No one told me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I think we're going to have to have words with Henry because he was boasting earlier on that he, so that he designed these uh, soundproof booths, but they obviously don't seem uh, to be very soundproof. So Henry, if you're out there, sort it out next time. But no, I'm just kidding. We all love Henry. And uh, here we go. Snacks is being pushed by uh, AZ and Co. Who have only the pistols in hand. Neo as well with the Farmas. Out comes the USP. Pasha joins in on the action. And Dignitas just mowed down by uh, Virtus Plow, as people like to call them. VP. Get themselves that round. And it was definitely a bit of a, a team hug after that first round from VP. If you look down to the right hand side, you can see them. They were desperate to try and motivate themselves and get themselves out of this rut. As much as they may have been on holiday or, or whatever, they're a team full of winners. Taz absolutely hates uh, to lose. He is uh, he wears, a man who wears his heart on his sleeve, if you know him well. And uh, he does not come to events and say, well, semi-finals will be good. He comes to an events and says, winning would be good. Anything else would be terrible. Digging to the side now, trying to control this mid area as they send Zipnix out. And it'll be Taz when the smoke clears. He'll see three Danes. He can't see anything. He's just trying to see if someone jumps up towards those vents and again can't get shot. And we'll have to just report the information and fall back. It's Neo who will see action and Neo who will get the kill. It's Fetish out of the count. And now uh, going forward, Neo claims frag number two onto device. And three and four. One behind him. Oh, would have been five. AZ in the end down by Snack. Great play from Neo. And uh, that will be three rounds to nil. But the real fun starts here on the first buy round. Yeah, it does. And I think one interesting point that's probably worth mentioning <coughs> is that earlier on, when we saw Virtus Pro play Team Dignitas on Nuke, um, Virtus Pro had the choice of either Cash or Nuke in the Vita. Now, Virtus Pro decided to go with Nuke because they'd already played a game on Cash where they collapsed and ended up losing the game. But so far, so good up against Team Dignitas, but they are on their least favoured T side because we all know that Team Dignitas are just absolute counter-terrorist powerhouses. Like you said earlier on, they're CT biased. <sighs> but anyways, Pasha with uh, AK-47 at mid. He's going to renew that smoke. He's, uh, in fact, seen a few of the Dignitas boys. He's uh, going to pull the trigger on a few of them. He, he, wow, hat trick from Pasha. Not too shabby against the Eco. And again, Virtus Plow. Yeah, they get a good uh, Eco conversion there, as they would expect um, from themselves on that. And that'll be 4-0. to zero, And they need to rack up these points on the board. They need to build as much of a confidence buffer, if anything else. Let's see what they can do here as we go into round number five. Dig on a buy, and Device is the man who uh, will look to make something happen. He will be elevated into position by Zipnix, and that nade will come in, and Snacks gets first frag. It's uh, Fetish that goes down, and Device, having fired that first shot, has already been outed as uh, being in position, and they really limits where he can roam with that AWP. Pasha now will 
smoke in and they're just looking for device. Device really isolated up there. He wants to get that kill. He wants to open up that uh, area for Dupree to charge on in, but hasn't happened. And uh, Zipnix will move around the other side to try and entertain the idea of uh, uh, a rotation out of there. But device just gets the kill in the end, and that's what he wanted. That will unleash um, the man who was just down to his left. Forget who it was. And device now pulls back. A Dignitas are ready to make their commitment. Four on four, Zipnix. Sat waiting, Dignitas. Just about ready to make their move here, and it's Neo who got a forfer just two rounds ago. Will uh, try to help himself to his first, but no. AZ quickly picks off Neo and then goes down as he tries to make the move over towards that site. But it cost them the life of Snacks as well on the other side. Ziplik's getting that, and now it's on Bialy and Taz to not only rotate but defuse and get three kills as they. Spy nothing. Dignitas great at just being invisible at the right moment. And, uh, that forces Bialy to come into an unfavorable position where he helps himself to the first. Can he get the second? Oh, Bialy, take a bow as he dispatches of two Dignitas players. Taz helps him out with the third. And that was exceptional from Bialy. Yeah, it most certainly was, and that is going to put them five rounds up. And I'm going to be fully honest, three versus two. I was looking at Verdes Pro, I thought, Nah, they're not going to be able to retake this bomb site. Team Dignitas is sitting far too deep. They're not showing anything to the CTs. But it just goes to show what Bayali is capable of doing. He is, of course, the new blood that uh, the old schoolers like Neo and Taz and Pasha added when, uh, to their side when they made changes um, once upon a time when CSGO first came out. But here we go. Pasha finally has his favorite weapon in the AWP in hand. And he's currently eyeing mid, and there we have it, the first frag onto Device. And can Virtus Pro make it six? And I was talking earlier on about how aggressive Virtus Pro are. And we, Henry also mentioned earlier on that Cash is all about the mid control. And it's exactly what Virtus Pro are doing. They're going aggressive at mid. They're pushing down. They're placing those defensive smokes down. They're not giving Dignitas any room to breathe. And they're really making it look easy. They're showing, they're making this, this, they're making Cash look what DDoS2 looked for Team Dignitas, if that makes any sense. Uh, I think I could have said that better, but yeah, you know what I mean. Six rounds <laughs> on the board for uh, VP, and uh, yeah, they'll be flowing with confidence. They've had some very close calls, so they've had some uh, moments where VP will have felt they, or Dignitas will have felt they could have taken it, but you'd be looking for something more from Device when he next gets that AWP, because he plays the big role. He plays a role that has to open up that mid area if he can get the first pick, but they're not quick to get him up there, and the nades haven't helped them, so we'll see. This is a CZ round that hasn't yielded much of a result for Dignitas. In fact, it's a five round clean sweep, and VP are up seven to zero. And look at this scoreboard there, seven rounds down, and uh, only some 12 kills on the board for Dignitas. Um, they are going to need a heck of a load more than uh, 12 kills if they are going to salvage anything from this game as it stands right now. But hey, it's not the end of the world. It's only 7-0. We've seen Team Dignitas, uh, we've seen many Team Dignitas teams over the years, particularly in Counter-Strike, come back from a lot worse. Um, so interesting change from Pasha. He was normally going towards mid with that AWP to try and get the frag above uh, where Dupree just was, but now they're changing it around. He's decided to go over towards, I think it was the A, no, towards the B bomb site and see if he can get an early pick there. But look who it is. It's in, it's in fact Device who, I think he's waiting for Pasha here, but he's going to cite Neo should Neo push out, and oh no, he missed the shot, a big mistake from Device. And while that could have been a nice and tasty opening frag for Team Dignitas, but they don't care at the moment, they're going to push all into this A bomb site. It's do or die, Dupree and AZ explode all over the bomb site, and the bomb will go down as Neo and co will try to retake it and fight back and prevent the bomb from going down. Converters Pro make it 8-0, or will Team Dignitas finally Welcome themselves to the scoreboard. It's four versus three. The bomb has finally gone down. AZ, lovely headshot. Crisp headshot onto uh, the head of Pasha. That's the AWP down. Snax is going to try and retake this bomb site with a very, very, very heavily injured Neo to his left-hand side. 
And as that bomb takes, something tells me in the back of my head that I just can't see Virtus Pro retaking this one. Have I spoken too soon? You know what? I've spoken too soon. Snacks one versus one. The smoke comes out. That bomb is still ticking, though. I don't know whether he'll be able to defuse on time. Out comes the knife. We saw him try this on Dust 2, but he's not going to get it. And Team Dignitas, welcome to the scoreboard. <laughs> they get themselves around there, but nice play. They're using the AWP, using device as basically saying, every, this is like every other realm. We're going to try and push mid. But actually, they weren't. Uh, device was a beautiful faker, if you will, as uh, to suggest all was normal. And See whether they can replicate that. But, of course, also worth remembering, they lost all five men in that round despite winning. And, uh, they've moved the AWP this time onto their glorious leader. Mid area, a bit of a ghost town at the moment as Zipnix uh, and Dupree will regroup and Head on down in towards the, the area, looking for someone. Dignitas, they were hoping for a pick. They moved out into a couple areas, they left the bomb behind. They're hoping they find a pick and then make their move. Just react off the, uh, off the VP defense. But that hasn't opened up for them at all. They haven't got any real information. Now they're going to have to commit. The nades come out. Bialy will be the first one that uh, sees action here. He gets himself a frag onto Zipnix, and then will poke his head out. Get a second. That's a bomb carry. That's AZ that goes down. Can he follow that up with a third? It's uh, AZ, I think, coming in on the other side. No, AZ's already down. And uh, there's three already wounded and very quickly dying Dignitas players. That's a great round from Virtus Pro. They are 8 to 1 uh, up here. And on Dedos 2, we saw Virtus Pro finally get their second round on the board, and Team Dignitas shut them down straight away because CS can be a game of momentum, and you don't want your opponents to build that momentum. And we've seen Virtus Pro do exactly to De Team Dignitas what Team Dignitas did to them, and I said it right this time round. <laughs> but here we go, round number 10. Team Dignitas with only pistols in hand, and the mass majority of them are going towards the a bomb site where they'll have uh, a very eager Bayali to deal with. Taz gets the double. Now Bayali, no, it was actually Pasha who got that frag. Taz with the hat trick and everyone's clapping. And it does really seem like Virtus Pro are fan favorites here, Stu. <laughs> Just want to see a good game. And uh, Counter Strike is always good. For Dignitas, they're going to have to get themselves three or four on the board in these remaining four rounds so that they can you know, have something to play with in that second half. And yes, they'll go on to their favorite side. And yes, they have looked good, but they've got to give them a margin for error. Otherwise, it'll be potentially over after the pistol. Dupree gets in towards position now as uh, that Molotov goes down on the exit in towards mid. Dupree pushes in with uh, assistance coming in the shape of Pasha, who helps himself to... No, it's Taz who helps himself to the first. Pasha's there. Neo and Snacks to bind. And that Dignitas attack just never got going. They never got out. And what was interesting, after the Dignitas side players came out, there was a three-man firing squad laying down in towards that mid area that just were pretty unopposed. And again, it's going back to what Henry was saying earlier on. Cash is all about the mid control. And first pro, so far, they've... they've, they've, they've uh, Showing us exactly how to take control of mid on, on, uh, on the underscore cash based on what we've seen so far. And this is the problem for Team Dignitas at the moment. They keep being forced back onto these eco rounds, onto the CZ75 rounds. And the problem is those pistols, they're overpowered and they're good, but you want to utilize them at close range. And at mid, you can't really do that. But look at this. Taz has managed to go unnoticed all the way towards... Uh, T spawn. I think he's heard that the terrorists are in fact uh, at mid. Pasha is going to come round the other side to try and prevent the A push. He's going to uh, pull the trigger. He's not going to get any kills. Taz manages to get Zipnix through the wall. And I think if Team Dignitas had AK 47s, that may have ended very, very differently. But don't count them out just yet. Three versus two. It's M4s versus a CZ75 and a silenced M4. Great shot from Dupree. It's one versus two. We've seen Fetish do it before. And unfortunately, the Team Dignitas leader didn't have it in the bag that round. 11-1 is the score. That is a very lethargic high five that those VP players just gave each other. 
as they still carry the weight of that first map defeat. They want to make sure that they could leave little hope for Dignitas at half time. We've still got uh, some three rounds left in this, and Dig just have to get something on that board. They have to get two or three. Otherwise, they're even as great as they've played in this tournament. They're leaving no room for error. As, uh, Push in. Dupree gets himself a frag onto Taz as Pasha helps himself to two more. And here comes Pasha once more. Is there a hat trick for him? You bet there is. And he will go looking for the next. Zipnix will stop that, but the damage is done. Fetish is on four health. And that need comes flying past the ear of Bialy. He will be spotting Zipnix and damaging Zipnix as the next man moves in. It's that AWP from Snacks. Picks away all four of those points of health that Fetish had. Uh, now it's Zipnix or Bust for Dignitas against three VP players. And this really has thus far been a game of two halves. The first, Dignitas' stomp, and the second thus far has been all versus pro. Will be Inferno to decide this game if we need it. Virtus Pro are wanting to get there. It's 12-1. Yep, it definitely looks like we might need Inferno, but who knows? Because Team Dignitas, we've mentioned it before, I'll mention it again, they do favor the CT side. I'm not sure how their cash is, I'm not sure if they've played cash early on in the tournament, but maybe if they can squeeze out 12-3, they might stand a small chance, who knows? There we go, smoke down at mid. And again, that smoke allows Virtus Pro complete control of mid. They just put it down. Team Dignitas are absolutely blind as a result of it. And Pasha just pushes all the way down. But it is going to be the man from uh, Denmark in Zipnik to get the first blood frag onto Taz. So let's see whether Team Dignitas can build on it. And I think they might do. Prey nails Bayali in the head. It's five versus three now. Pasha's rotated all the way around to the A bomb site. He has easy to deal with. He pulls the trigger, gets two. And well, Pasha, he's one of those players. He's a brilliant player. He's difficult to shut down, but it is still advantage Dignitas. And the second I say that, it goes two versus two. And with 55 seconds on the clock, Anything is possible. The bomb is down on the floor. They need to pick it up. And Fetish is missing these orb shots. Finally registers. And what can Snacks do here all by himself? Two versus one. He has a, an AWP, the big green gun. But he still has Fetish to deal with, who is hovering in and around mid somewhere. So he's probably gone for what I would have done. He's traded the AWP for the M4. And he'll definitely know from Pasha's calls that the bomb is down on the A bomb site, and he knows that with only 20 seconds to go, the bomb will most likely go down on the A bomb site. I thought he was going to make a runner towards B there, but here we go. 10 seconds and counting. It's going to be Dupree. Plant the bomb. Fetish to his right, Dupree to his left. He's going to get absolutely surrounded, but Snacks, but there's one player on this Virtus Pro side who can pull this clutch out the back. It was going to be Snacks, but Dupree, time to perfection, and Team Dignitas finally have their second round on the scoreboard. They do. Nice uh, two-on-one after plant play there from Dignitas. If uh, Dupree was going to go down, he was always going to have a second man coming out firing at the exact right moment. And uh, yes, there is a... Uh, he would always want Snacks to do something like that, but no, that uh, doesn't always pay off. We're on the last round of this first half, and uh, Virtus Pro with a triple auto-sniper defense. Uh, they cash in and uh, look to close out with a 13-2 lead. Digging to make themselves somewhat hard to find. They're getting ready to push in. Snacks has himself a hit onto Fetish that converts as he will now move on out. Dupree gets himself the next as Pasha goes down. Snacks' his auto sniper does the damage. Neo then moves in with the more traditional M4 as device is down. Dupree returns to favor and Neo is out for the count. Now we have three on two and only two auto snipers left in this one as Taz is going to get picked off by Zipnix. And uh, it's two auto snipers left as uh, Snacks is down to 34 health as Dupree does connect with a little bit of that and they've isolated him up here but Minus that bomb, they're uh, a little bit uh, 
weak. And the two auto snipers do finish it off. Zivnix and Dupree down. And that will be Virtus Pro bringing us into half time at 13 2. And quite the turnaround. Yeah, and if Virtus Pro win this pistol round and capitalize on what should be two bog standard rounds afterwards, then it will be GG already. And uh, do you think they can do it? Well, I mean, from a pistol round scenario, you've, you've got to uh, say that that is a bit of an equalizing situation. But Team Dignitas, there'll be no worries on that side. One bad map doesn't re result yeah. in a bad team. That's for damn sure. And they will be still confident, still level-headed, and they will still definitely believe that they could do this, no matter the scoreboard. Here we go. Where are Virtus Pro going to go with their pistols? We see a CZ-75 in the hands of Dupree. An interesting buy. It's not very common we see the uh, CZ come out on the pistol round. But Dupree has gone for it. Let's see what's going to happen. Pasha on only 40 points of health. Zipnix has spotted them. That nade should do a heck of a load of damage. In fact, it does as Zipnix puts the flash down on the floor. I think it's only going to be a matter of time until he's going to be greeted by a heck of a load of poles on top of this uh, A bomb site. We've got a kill from a device, another from device, but before you know it, it's just all kicking off. And Neo in the 1v1 manages to somehow squeeze out that kill. And Virtus Pro got exactly what. Uh, what, what I wanted them to get, 14-2, and it looks like Inferno might become a reality. You wanted them to get it. Yeah, we all want to see a third map, dude. 14-2, <laughs> VP get the pistol and should now be able to uh, convert this uh, out into a map win. As Team Dignitas were only 14 points health away from winning that pistol exchange with some nine frags in it. But it'll be fetish to connect on the first frag. It's Neo that goes down. Taz brings normal service back as he kills Dupree. As it'll be Fetish also outed as the killer of Neo is revenged. And VP making sure that this CZ round from Team Dignitas doesn't have the effect it did on Dust. Snack's going to lead that charge in now as he drops down looking for Nick's device to his left. No device over there as uh, he will go in. It's AZ that'll see action first. AZ got one to the right, one to the left. Is going to connect with the first frag, but too little too late with more charging on in towards that site. Device is going to have to go huge here. Zip Nick's alone and uh, without any friends in that site. As, uh, he gets the first frag. Pasha is uh, there. And the one thing Zipnix would have loved would be to go into an afterplant situation and having picked up one of the rifles from the three dead Virtus Pro players side, but that hasn't happened, and he and that CZ are gonna have to go in. And just as I say that, he went for the gun, he took the bait, and they took him down. Map point Virtus Pro, some 13 of them. Yeah, the Team Dignitas, naturally, they're just gonna force by whatever they can. You see mainly Desert Eagles coming out, Zipnix has gone for the CZ-79. But up against Virtus Pro, their aggressive playstyle and those AK-47s, I'm not going to lie, I don't really fancy them. And like I said, who wouldn't want to see a third map? Would end up being Inferno. So here we go. Pasha is uh, in big garage towards mid, while Snacks and Neo toy with the CTs in and around this B bomb site. I think Snacks may have caught a glimpse of Fetish. AZ is, in fact, hiding around the corner, so hopefully. They will check their corners should Virtus Pro decide to push towards this smaller B bomb site. Asha at mid, spots someone to his left, and I think he knows that device is lurking up close and personal and Pasha he doesn't miss from there. That's gonna be first blood in favor of the poles, but Pasha has been left bleeding pretty damn hard on only three points of health. So at the moment it really looks like Virtus Pro is setting up in, in, in such a manner where they're trying to keep any engagements at long range. They know that CZ-75s and the Desert Eagles won't be able to do much from such a long distance. They want to utilize the weapon advantage they have. And Taz gets one. He should get two. Oh, no. He's run out of ammo. AZ, is he going to drop him? Oh, my days. They're going to knife each other. And Taz <laughs> knifes AZ. And not a bad way to finish that match. Absolutely not. And Virtus Pro are back on the board. They win the second map and an insult to injury with that knife to finish off the job. Excellent play by the Katowice champions. And they will have restored much pride having dispatched of Team Dignitas by some 16 rounds to two. Taz leading the scoreboard as the old war horse pulled his team through. We will be back 